Hi, we're going to go ahead and look at the volume of prisms and cylinders. So right now we have, or to the right, we have a rectangular prism. So re volume of rectangular prism is going to be length times width times height. And the dimensions, measurements are going to be length 7, width 8, and height 1. So we're going to say volume equals 7 times 8 times 1. So our volume equals 56 millimeters cubed. Triangular prism, it's going to be 1,197 cubic meters. And what is the value of T? So T is the height. Okay, so we have the volume formula for triangular prism is 1 half base times height times length. We're missing the height. The total volume is 1,197. The base is 18 meters. The height were, is the unknown, so that's T. And the length is 7 meters. So we're going to solve for T. So 197 times 1 half times 18 times T times 7. So then I get 197 equals 63T. I'm going to divide both sides by 63 to solve for T. So then I get T equals 19. So T equals 19 meters, which is the height. For the volume of the cylinder, and for pi, we're going to use 3.14, and we're going to round our answer to the nearest 100th. So that's two decimal places. First, the volume of the cylinder is pi r squared times the height. The diameter for this cylinder is 38, but we need the radius. So radius is equal to diameter divided by 2. Um, so it's 38 divided by 2, so radius equals 19. And then the height is going to be 11, and pi is going to be um, the estimate of 3.14. So altogether, we have volume equals pi r squared, and then that's going to be 3.14 times 19 squared times 11. So our answer is going to be rounded to the nearest hundredth, 12,468.94 cubic centimeters. It is 7.1 meters long and has a triangular base with a base of 9 meters and a height of 5 meters. So what is the volume of the triangular prism? So the volume is going to be 1 half base times height times length. And then it's base equals 9, the height is 5, and the length is 7.1 meters. So the volume is going to equal 1 half times 9 times 5 times 7.1, and the volume is going to equal 159.75 meters cubed. Cube, that is 704.969 cubic meters. It says, what is the length of each side of a cube? So you get the length of a side of a cube for um, from the edge. So in the volume of a cube is going to be side times side times side. So the volume is 704.969. So S is going to equal side. So we have 704.969 equals S times S times S. 704.969 is going to be S cubed. You have to take the cube root to isolate the variable s so you have to take the cube root of both sides of this equation and so in this case s is going to equal 8.9